refreshing and ravishing voice The lively heart of shade and light Powered by passion and ability hey, hey, hey. Red Carpet TV, you are the best, oh Robin Stories is our camera lenses cut colorful scenes of celebrations around different event venues. Straight to Ileoluji in Ondo State, where Stella Adebi and Anthony Oswinikomi signed the dotted lines. And finally, on tonight's edition, is a showcase of color and style. At the wedding of Aramide Olashokwe and Ademola Akinloye in Lagos. My name is Olua Shei. I'll be back with all these colorful stories. And the third and burst of sweet melody busted like tornadoes, creating a typhoon of gyration within the society where smart men and swift ladies demonstrated the social class in party scenes. In our roving splodge, Red Carpet Roving Crew toured the length and breadth of the city and reported some of the awesome moments that lightened the weekend. A trip to Archbishop Vining Memorial Church, GRA Ikeja, caught the solemnization of holy matrimony between Muyoluwa Talabi and Olaoluwa Adeyemi. It was a service filled with pausing songs and pleasing sights. The brightness of blue color and gorgeous faces dominated the wedding reception of Ade Dire Ade Gunle and Kende Johnson at the Hall Event Center. It was a defining day of love that roared with harmonious music. The flushing layout of pink and white decor brightened up the Martinos Hall at Lausa Ikeja. A second at Oyin Damola and Sulaiman Babatinde were united in love with a Nikai ceremony. The lively ambience was bolstered with presence of colorful guests in lovely apparels. In the same vein, Alberto Garden gushed with grace as graceful guests grew with gaiety in celebrating a new beginning between Olasukomi Ogumbayo and Ayo. A rough barry. Screaming color and stunning faces illuminated the arena that roared with danceable music. <laughs> Similarly, the vibrant traditional wedding of Ari Ladi Mopelola and Ayo Dotsun Oluagbemiga at the hall Ikeja was an engaging dash of conjugal rights. The surge of excitement and rush of amusement galvanized the hall with permeating blast of ricocheting music that pulled guests to their feet. <laughs> 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 
for Mrs. Chumoke Awotefe. 17th birthday was a great occasion to put on a dancing shoe and roll out the drum in a convivial setting. With gaggles of distinguished guests and incessant gush of melody from Sugar Band, event center Alausa Bimbri Gusto. From Red Pepper's Robin Crew, we wish all the newlywed a conjugal bliss. And to the birthday girl, we say more years in good health. The gripping songs of Demola Suzy Music World Band threw everyone to exciting times on Saturday, January 2nd, 2016 at the Odundo Town Hall in Leoluji, Ondo State. At the wedding reception of Adifun Kestela, Luatsuni Adebi and Anthony Adeyemi Oshii Komi. <laughs> The wedding began early in the day with an engagement ceremony at the bride's parents' house at Logan Street, Leoluji. As the event kicked off, melodious songs from the traditional anchors spiced up a traditional marriage. The groom's family danced in to greet the bride's family. The engagement letter was presented and read by the bride's cousin, Itunde Ubumakiwa. The groom, Anthony, who was decked in Sokoi Sagwada, danced in and made retinue of friends. In obedience to traditional etiquette, he observed all that was necessary of him. Then the veiled bride, Adifunke, appeared in Sokoi's official pink lace. She caught it before her parents and in-laws, receiving blessings from them. She joined her waiting hobby. Beautiful cake was cut, and that marked the formal beginning of the lovely union between the duo. The Fabishola film production crew began entertaining guests with the lovely cultural songs and dances. The train reconvened at the registry of the Leoluji Okeibo local government secretariat for the wedding ceremony. Without wasting time, the couple declared their love, made the covenants, and exchanged the rings as a symbol of their professed love. They were joined together and proclaimed as man and wife by the chief registrar of marriage, Mrs. Duro Jenet Yakimi. The dotted lines were signed by the couple, their parents, and other family members. They displayed the marriage certificate before the entire spectators before marching out in style. The third phase of the wedding was the reception as everyone made their way to the Odunda Town Hall. From the drapes to the couple's ark, everything looked beautiful and everyone sure had wonderful times as Demola Susie Band threw everyone with his lovely music. The couple's parents danced in amidst joyous families and friends. Then, Felicities, the couple and the train danced in. The chairman of the occasion, Pastor Ogushi Bankole, highlighted the ingredients of marriage so that the newlywed could learn from it. The couple then cut their beautiful cake at the spell of love. The meeting and coming together of these two hearts that beats as one was purely divine. For Funke, Anthony is the man behind our shy smiles at all times. And for the ever-bubbling Tony, 
His darling wife, Funke, is his all. Today, they have formally sealed their union in a very lovely wedding, with an avowed resolve to love themselves to the end of time. Elegant and delectable, Funke is an elf assistant and she is based in the United States, while the ebullient and handsome Tony is a shrewd businessman. His elder brother, Dr. Pius Oshini Komi, is a respected politician in Ondo State. A former aide to the Ondo State Governor, Dr. Ulusha Gumimiku, Dr. Pius Oshini Komi is currently the Director General of the Technical Aid Corps, an agency of the Federal Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Abuja. It was therefore no surprise that the young and quintessential politician pulled resources, men and materials to Ileoluji to give his younger brother a very worthy wedding ceremony. Red Carpet TV spoke with the couple and other guests. I advise that um, they should be not fearing, they should love themselves, uh, they have challenges, uh, but the hallmark of a successful marriage is the ability to manage those challenges in the marriage. But, so the marriage will be a huge success. To me, the man of my heart is very caring. He doesn't hide his feelings. That's very nice. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we felicitate with the couple, Mr. and Mrs. Oshii Komi, and we wish them a forever happy married life. Buzz and blast of melody from Queen Ayo Balogun boom boundlessly with trapping beats that billow through the air. The impressive color, the expressive aura and the extensive flaunt of confidence at the expansive event center of All Season Plaza, Agidingbi, Ikeja, Lagos gave an exclusive view of affluence that enveloped the wedding of Aramide Olashokpe and Prince Ademola Akinloye on Saturday, December 19, 2015. It began with an engagement ride early in the day at the Compact Hall of the Plaza. The bustling sound of local orchestra and traditional percussionists gave an imperial welcome to the royal families who have come from the ruling house of Ajiro in Etiosa, Lagos to request for a beauty as bride from the Olashope family. Introductions, salutations and interlude from Alagai Duro all paved way for the arrival of the groom, Prince Ademola the dashing son of Obatijani Aditsunji Akinlui, the Ojomu of Ajiro land. He was led in by the Aruba alongside his cottage of friends. He danced towards his in-laws and did as instructed by the uncles. He also thanked his parents, had photographs with them, before proceeding to the couple's corner. The flash, the bride, Aramide, appeared amidst her beautiful friends. She radiated beauty in gold attires as she danced eagerly towards her parents. She did 
did all the needful before our parents and our parents-in-law. For proceeding to join our groom. The engagement ring was slipped on her finger by the groom. Intention and approval letters were exchanged and delivered to their appropriate quarters by both families while the letter of intent was read by the bride's cousin, Bolutife Williams. The bride was formally handed over to the groom's family which brought the traditional ceremony to a lively end. Guests later in converged at the expansive venue of the plaza for the noble reception that lucidly spelled out the elegance of royalty. Charming dudes and charismatic damsels in captivating apparels brightened the hall with their blush of beauty. Amidst his royal entourage, the groom father, Obakin Louis, made his arrival and saluted his guests before heading to his seat. And the awaited moment beckoned as the couple made the grand entry to their compelling hip-hop music from the DJ. A brief word of exhortation was shared with them by very reverend E.A. Ogundikpe. He also prayed for them as they embarked on a conjugal sojourn and they exchanged their wedding rings. Also the chairman of the occasion, Mr. Femi Talabi, gave his fatherly advice to the couple. Then they cut their wedding cake. The renowned Nigerian hip-hop artist, J1, charged the atmosphere with one of his hit tracks. setting the templates for the couple's first dance. The father and daughter's dance was also a memorable moment. The couple later reappeared in another attire to party non-stop in commemoration of the beginning of their new dawn. It couldn't have been otherwise. The prince of Ajinro Kingdom, Ademola, met his bride, Aramide, in Ileife about 13 years ago. The friendship which was cultivated and nurtured with utmost sincerity for over a decade climaxed in a robust wedlock celebrated in grand style. For Aramide, a medical doctor at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Luth, and the daughter of an accomplished lawyer, Barrister Afolabi Olashope, it was a dream come true. And for Ademola, an agriculturist and PhD student of Wageningen University, Netherlands, it was a reflection of a fulfilled life. He is the son of His Royal Highness Obatijani Aditsunji Akinlui, Officer of the Order of Niger and the Ojomu of Ajiro Land. The classiness of the occasion and the magnificence of the venue further testify to the leadership status and social stature of the monarch with many successful parts. Red Carpet TV spoke with the couple, their parents, and some of the guests. My advice for them is to be patient with themselves and they should pray to God to help to be with them. I wish them the best of God. I pray that Almighty God will bless them, stay with them, and guide them. Word of, of advice to the couple is to love one another and to put God first in all they do. They should not allow third party interference into their situation. 
If they have any difference, they should resolve it within themselves. I keep for call and father, I'm more than one for the way. 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 They must just be warned without telling anybody their problem. They should solve them, their problem themselves. And even if there is any disagreement between them, they should make sure that they settle it that same day without sleeping over it. I want him to live a good life with his family, give better children, make his life successful with his wife, give better a lot of children so I can be an uncle. I'm excited. I've married my best friend of many years. Demola is the most wonderful person in the world and I'm the luckiest lady in the world today. Call him Tiara, my crown. A very good friend, loving sister and a wonderful mother. I call her Ara because that means what? Ara, flesh. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we wish the couple a conjugal bliss. That was indeed a bumper package and that's where we will draw the curtain on tonight's edition of your event program on TV, Red Carpet. Hmm. Well, it's been fun being your guide on the Red Carpet for the past three months. I feel like being here forever, but necessity will let me as I return you to your regular uncle. Next week, Damilola returns. Good night and do have a fantastic night rest. <laughs>